Good morning. I was uh, working on my gift of dance this morning. Uh, this is a great light night last night with our uh, Lenten worship series, and we were discerning our gifts, and we had that second tier where we have gifts that we can improve on. Uh, one of mine was dance, so I was, I was working on my moves, doing a little Irish jig or something like that. I don't know. Uh, when a man this large is an Irish jig, many people pay attention. Anyway, but this morning, uh, I wanted to follow up on what a great night that was. Uh, and the passage that really came to me that spoke to me about gifts and the impact that they can have in our lives and, of course, in the lives of others is from 1 Peter chapter 4. Uh, 1 Peter, uh, they write, Above all, maintain constant love for one another, for love covers a multitude of sins. Be hospitable to one another without complaining. Like good stewards of the manifold grace of God, serve one another in whatever gift each of you has received. And you think about it, the argument that they're saying is, well, first, love one another, and gifts help us do that. Uh, second, the idea of being hospitable without complaining, I can be hospitable with complaining, but without complaining is a little more of a stretch, uh, how gifts can help us do that. And finally, the gifts that we have, that God has given us, are an embodiment of the grace we receive from Jesus Christ. So when you're using your gifts in order to help others and help the kingdom of God, you are God's embodiment of grace through the Holy Spirit to that person. So when you are hospitable to somebody, you are God's grace incarnate. When you're dancing and having people have a good time, you are an embodiment of God's grace. And so when you're sipping that coffee today, I want you to think about how can you use the gifts that you have, that God has given you, to be God's grace to someone in this difficult time. I hope you have a good time, and, uh, and I know that God will guide you in this important work. And, you know, have a little fun with it. Have a good morning.